everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Natasha Denona Mini Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. This palette retails for $27 at Sephora and Natasha Denona online. I do want to read a little bit about this palette on Sephora's website. A palette that is inspired by Natasha's best-selling bronze palette and features five warm tone, creamy matte, and metallic finishes perfect for summer. I already own the bronze bigger palette in my collection, so I want to see if there are similar shades. Here's a closer look on what the mini bronze palette looks like. And then here's what the back looks like. You have the list of ingredients. It states it has a 24 month shelf life and it was made in Italy. Let's open this up. How cute is the mini palette? This is adorable. Here's what the back of the palette looks like. Let's open this up. These are supposed to be five brand new shades. The first shade in the palette is called Russet. This is super soft in the pan. Russet is described as a matte, warm, dark brown. This shade is a little bit patchy. The second shade in the palette is called Flesh. Another soft formula. Here's what Flesh looks like. Flesh is described as a matte beige nude. The shade in Flesh performed way better than the first shadow. The third shade in the palette is called Gobi. Again, another soft matte. Gobi is described as a matte medium tangerine brown. I love this shade. There's only one shimmer in this palette. This shade is called Bronze Foil. Bronze Foil is described as a metallic coppery bronze. Wow, that is beautiful. That is gorgeous. The last shade in the palette is called Tough. Tough is described as a matte medium terracotta. is patchy as well. Here's what all five shades look like in the mini bronze palette. There are similar shades in the bigger palette. We have this shade in magma. Magma is the exact same as the first shade in the mini bronze palette in russet. This shade in beach looks very similar to the second shadow in the mini palette. Here's what the shade in Beach looks like compared to the second shade in the mini palette called Flesh. It's kind of similar. Let me blend it out a bit. It is very similar. Sundown does look like Gobi. I'll swatch that right underneath Gobi. It's kind of similar. Gobi is a bit warmer. Out of, the, out of the eight shades in the palette, I think Palladium looks the closest. Here's what Palladium looks like compared to Bronze Foil. Let me blend out Palladium. Palladium isn't exactly a dupe. The shade in Suntan does look similar to the last shadow in the mini palette. Here's what Suntan looks like right next to Tough. Again, it's very similar. I don't necessarily think you need the mini bronze palette if you already have the bigger bronze palette. Let's create a look using the mini palette. Taking a fluffy crease brush, I'm gonna dip into the second shade in the palette called Flesh. I'm gonna apply that in my crease, going back and forth, doing windshield wiper motions. You can barely see that shade in Flesh. Using that same brush, I'm gonna dip into the shadow in Russet. Again, taking that shade in the crease, going back and forth. Wow, that is very pigmented. It's not as patchy as it's swatched on the back of my hand, which is nice. I'm gonna be doing the same thing for the other eye. Swapping my brush for a flat brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade in Gobi. Pack this all over the lid. I 
went in a couple of times with the shade in Gobi to really pack that on my lid. Using my finger, I'm gonna be applying the shade in Bronze Foil, placing that shadow in the center of my eyelid. Wow, that shade is stunning. Going back in using my crease brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade in Tough, applying that in my outer V doing circular motions, just to add a little bit of depth. Here's how the eyeshadow look turned out. I did get a little bit of fallout from the shade in bronze foil. You can see it on both of my eyes. I'm gonna clean out the fallout underneath my eyes and I'll be right back. For mascara, I'm gonna apply the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. For lips, I'm gonna apply the Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon in the shade Stop at Nothing. I compared this particular shade with the Howl's Labs Lip Crayon. If you have not seen my review on the Howl's Labs Lay Monster Lip Crayon, I'll leave it right over here in the cards if you're interested. Here's what everything looks like. My final thoughts on the mini bronze palette is that I really do like it. I just wish Natasha would have added a different shade. I feel like this shade in Russet and this shade in Tough is very similar. If you look at her bronze palette, she has a lot more shimmer shadows. I wish Natasha would have added a similar shade to Bliss. I think that would have been beautiful in the mini bronze palette. If you don't have the mid-size bronze palette, maybe you would like this palette. It only has five shades. There's not many looks that you can create with her mini palette versus the bigger palette. Let me know in the comments down below if you plan on purchasing the bronze mini palette from Natasha Denona or if you already have it in your collection. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.